How's it going today, everybody? It's Electron Man. Well, we got a got a little fun one today. We're gonna do video wise. Is uh, I got this for a Christmas uh, this year. It's a little uh, Black and Decker Workmate 225. I was gonna do a box opening, but there really wasn't nothing too open as far as a box. Basically, the legs were folded up here, and uh, and of course it was at the time it was folded up, uh, and. Uh, came with this one box on top here with instruction manual and everything else so it came with this box here and this was already all pre-assembled so basically today what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put the workmate 225 together and uh i'll kind of let you go along with me see how hard this thing is to put together and then from there we'll uh kind of do a little uh product review on it at least you know initial thoughts um so anyway, i guess uh, let me go ahead and get these uh these boxes opened and kind of do a little peek at the uh, the manual and we'll be back here in a second and uh, we'll see how hard this little thing is to assemble hopefully that's gonna give you a pretty good view there I'm a, I keep telling myself I'm gonna get a tripod one of these days and I've got one but I didn't for the GoPro which is by the way I'm on a GoPro Hero 3 Plus is when I'm recording this on I know I probably need to get up to the times and do that but I'm I'm small guy. All oh, 800 and something subscribers I got. Maybe one of these days I'll get to be one of them big guys and then I'll start having editors and <laughs> boy that's a dream. If I could just get a couple hundred thousand subscribers I'd be tickled but I seriously doubt that's ever going to happen. I've been doing this for 15 years and I got 800 and something so I have to live to be about 150 to get that many subscribers but anyway uh as you've been watching me i've just been unboxing it basically in the long box it's just got a couple pieces of uh feels like oak maybe uh looks like it's a laminate but it's definitely a hardwood and uh two of those i'm guessing yeah these little work bitches i had one a long time ago this is actually a little bit of an upgrade from the one i had before but uh these little work bitches come in really handy. You can put your, uh, you know, your finishing saw on it. And it's got the clamps. It'll hold things. Kind of miss the one I had. I don't even know what happened to it, to be honest. But I uh, haven't had one in quite a while. Probably one of my kids borrowed it or something. And Anyway, they're not going to borrow this one. I'm going to keep this. But it's got, got rulers on it, measurements. Um, definitely need to get the manual out of here. In the bag of fun, right? Up and see what we got. You know, these are just, I think, the little little blocks. I'm not sure. We're, we're just winging it here, right? <laughs> uh, you're opening it with me. Set that knock down. Don't need that in my hand. A couple big old long screws. Yeah, I think these are the blocks that that plug into the wood holes to hold different items. So if you get four of those, set up a little peg here. That looks like a crank handle for sure. Ah, and that's the other part of it. Okay, that's part of the handle. Oops, I'm not going to run out of table space here. Such professional uh, photography here, right? And uh, there's another one that's block. I'm not sure what they're for. Another block. Uh, threaded. That's definitely one of them screw rods goes into that, I'm sure. And two of those. Uh, a little bag of hardware here. Another little knobby thing. Another little crank handle thing there. A little, uh, another part of the knob there. And, uh, voila, that's... That's it. No more in there. Come on. No. No. That's it. Okay, let's get the manual out and take a look at it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Manuel de la instructions wrong um, language there. Parts count, and let's see, X2, yep, 
X2, yep. X1, yep. X2, yep. X2. Uh, I don't have to if you say what M is. It just says X2, but it looks like two pins. I don't see two pins. Uh, yes. Four of those, two of those, yep, four of those, two, two pieces of wood, hmm. I don't see this little, it looks like pins. Aha! Maybe they're hidden in this little package here. Are, are they here? Ah, there they are. Okay, there's the pins. Always good to do an inventory count before you start assembling it. Make sure you got all the parts. I don't have to call the complainer or send it back because you don't have parts. Uh, okay, that's how to open and close it. I want to know how to put it together. It's a picturegram. It doesn't have any written at all. It's all just pictures. See, just pictures. <laughs> just the way I like it. Okay, so it says, I need to get these out of this. Well, that wasn't hard. I hope you're getting a good shot of this. Probably not. My scenography, uh, my Hollywood scenography or cinematography, I, I we pronounce it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, this, it says number one thing to do. As it shows is to screw this into here. Okay, well that was backwards thread, but Okay, so screw it up. It even shows you backwards right. Okay, shows to put it about in the middle. Okay, so I'll screw this thing into about the middle. One, and then yeah, they're consistent. They're both backward thread, lefty loosey, righty righty. I don't. <laughs> That'd be uh. Roddy Lucy, Lefty Toddy? Yeah, there we go. Eh, the jokes are just a rolling, right? Okay, so that's what it says to do in the pictures. So you have two of those. Yeah, let's turn the page. And what do we have here? Okay, it says to put a washer on there. Fit it underneath. Okay. Yeah, we might have to. We're going to. Sorry, just going to have to move out of frame. I'm going to need this to sit over here. Sorry, guys, y'all are in the way right now. Yep, same in here. Over there. That's my time. Throw those to the side. Get these two little washers at it, Sid. It said I needed these guys right here with these guys. So it's just the flat washers. It's the uh, only two included, so that doesn't make it too hard to figure out which ones they were. But yeah, these flat washers. Get this off of here, and that says to let's see. We want to from which end? It doesn't. Okay, with the end with the hole. So I've got a face right. Okay. So it's saying that, set this down here, I want to put this flat washer on here, like that, and then I just want to take this and drop it down there, like that. Okay, that makes sense, except for how's it supposed to stay. Didn't tell me on the pictures. And let me look at the picture again here. Okay, it says through the hole. I I see. Then it wants me to put the handle on there. I guess the little cranky McGig is gonna hold it. Okay, so let me get the little cranky McGig. This guy. And Line it up with the holes on the shaft right here. With the holes here. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. No, that's not a song. 
I'll put a ring on it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just full of jokes today. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then pound the pin in. Uh-oh. Well, that might be a problem. I didn't need I needed to at the, at the hammer. Okay, well, let me get this back to this. And then it says to line that up, so we'll just do straight up and down hole that way. And then we'll do, it's got holes there, obviously, so you, yeah, that's not complicated. It's actually easy to move. And yeah, this ain't really wanting a hole there. I need a hammer. Be right back. Be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You can't touch this. I mean, what that is. Hey, hit some. Well, I, but I butchered that. Okay. Then you take one of these little rolly pennies. Roll pins. And, uh, and then I need five hands here. Ah. I knew that was going to happen. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. What they don't tell you is how you're supposed to do all this with two hands. And that makes sense. That snapped in, that'd be so much easier. But who knew? And then you line the. Oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Let me get the pin started in here. So close. Man hammer. Huh. Actually. I actually chose the small hammer because uh, I didn't want to pound it with a big hammer. It might not, it might do more uh, than I want it to. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so there we go. So that makes sense, and that little thing cranks back and forth. Then it says to take one of these little orangey things and snap it. Okay. Yeah, snap it in there. that they'd be a little looser there but anyway okay one down one to go so now got her Dang. didn't know I need a protection on for this wow I had to quite jingle angle to it Okay, now then, same thing, and then, of course, you take a little orange knob here, and it just snaps on there, and there she goes. Well, that makes total sense. Okay, back to the picture gram instructions. Okay. Shows the knobby on that side like that, and then shows the boat. Boat, it's kind of making sense. And it goes like that. I'm guessing. I'm definitely guessing here. Yeah, that looks like. this bolt oh yeah I need nine hands to do this don't even help with me 
figuring out where I'm at with this first. Okay, now, hey guys, you're working with me on this, right? So, this is real time assembly. Definitely, I'm looking like I need more hands. Okay, so that goes like that. That makes sense. And then that goes on there. And then that drops down in there. And I'm guessing that's threaded, which it is. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought. Cool. Instead of me needing a wrench, they gave me this little little tool to tighten it up. That's, that's actually ingenious. Cool. Okay, so now then I'm guessing I do. I hope I put that on. I had to put that on the right way. Right? Could that go backwards? Seems like. And I'm following it per the picture. I hope that's right, because it looks, I mean, the, it's got the numbers of the measurements on this side. It seems like it should be on that side. But dare me question the instructions. Mm. I had to get a drink there. Phew. This is labor intensive. Labor intensive, eh? Labor hard, labor. Man, shoo! No, not really. It's, so far, this has been like super simple. Okay, so now that I kind of got an idea what that one did, so obviously this one's going to be exactly the same. So, put that in there. Right in there. Ranch here. Okay. I guess we'll get these pretty tight. Yeah, we got that. We have. Hey, we got half of a vice now. All right. Okay. Now then, part two. Back to the picture grand. Tighten those up. Yeah, obviously, the other one's going to be exactly the same thing. Now it makes sense because it goes, slides in there like that. Yeah, that's going to be able to, you're going to be able to move that from place to place. So, that means it does like that. See, it goes in the little hole in the flat wood. It's got a hole there and a hole, a small hole for the boat to go through, and then the guiding pin there, like that. It doesn't have any nuts, so I'm guessing this is just already threaded, maybe? Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. No, I don't know. Get my little twisty tool here. Yeah. It actually shows it slotting it in there, but why would I do that? It's easier just to hold it in your hand, and I'm deviating from the instructions. She does a pretty good job of working it down. Okay. So then you have it like that. And then you obviously do the same on the other side. Locating pin. Big hole, small hole. Go in there like that. Take my last bolt. And... Running in there like that, it'll have the recess on the front too. By the way, for the the bolt not being away after you tighten it down, and then you just easier just set up my lap to work it.
Well, guys, um, off camera, I get down to this last bolt here, which is just, you know, bolting through with this little plastic retainer, and I'm turning, 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 and it will not thread into this guy. I kind of tap it with a hammer, it won't go in. I basically got to looking in, on the inside of this little plastic piece here on the back that this bolts through. It had like some flashing from when it casted that was in there, and it wouldn't let the bolt thread in there because it's just a, basically it's a it's a self thread type thing for this plastic here, and I couldn't get it, and uh, I had to get a medieval on it and go out there and get, get my uh, get my vise and actually put the vise and actually push that bolt into that you know a little bit to get it to where I could actually start getting it to thread and man that was a more of a battle than it should have been so it gets like a half star off for that. They should, they should quality control that and make sure that doesn't happen because, I mean, that was a, if I hadn't had a vice, I don't know how I would have done it. I guess you could have put it on a concrete and pounded on this a little bit to get it started too. But anyway, so far, I mean, that's the only negative I found on this build. I mean, the rest of it's been like super simple. And then these just drop in these little slots like that and lock in place like that. And then you got, you got your adjuster there and I think you can also I bet you this is interchangeable this way too yeah yeah so you can go either way Just depending on what you need a dove bevel on it so it makes it kind of nice to to where you can uh, put something around in there and uh, be interchangeable it gives you a lot of options as far as your distance that you need so you know because this is only has a limited amount of crank that it can go this direction this direction so this gives you a lot more ability to to, you know, make a wider board, you go up further, shorter board there, so you don't have to do as much cranky cranky on these cranks. But, uh, actually, to me, this is, uh, probably a good shot of these right here. Here we go. I wonder if it'll go all the way to that. I doubt it'll go all the way out there to that. But you, you get the gist. Yeah, that's as far as it'll, it'll crank you out that way. So, if you needed to use it, which I'll back these back out. You actually want them back in the middle, probably. But uh, see, so you got these cool little guys right here that are included, and you got all these different holes. So this gives you a lot of options as far as say you want to put something there. John's so going to kind of put them in a general direction, but you got holes inside too. And these, these pop in and out there. Just move them around as you need them. There you go. See, now you can lay a piece of wood in there and crank her tight. And put your chop saw on here, whatever you need to do. Just a handy little bench to have. Um, quality, I mean, it's made out of pretty good solid steel. It seems very stable. Um, crank wise, I'm okay with it. Hopefully, it's probably the only thing I would question a little bit. Is, of course, it does have the boat going through. That probably gives it extra support. But I wonder how long term this is going to be because you are putting, you know, when you when you clamp something down, you're actually you're putting pressure on that point. But time will tell on that. Um, it's a lot like my old one that I bought 20 years ago. I don't know. I, I don't think I put it together, so I can't say for sure how the other one held as far as that back one. I know the table was not adjustable like this, and I and I do like that. It's quite an improvement. Me personally, I would like to see these made out of metal. But then maybe this is a really strong nylon. I know some RC cars are indestructible and they're they're made out of plastic. So I'm not saying the plastic's weak. I just will just uh, have to see how time tell. Of course, the way it does too, it's the pressure's kind of against it, not pulling up on it. So it uh, it'll be a lot more rigid that way. And I mean, it does have a quarter inch bolt going through that, so it definitely supports that tab. So I'm probably being uh, over. Over uh, picky on on it, but you know, hey, I'm I'm trying to give you an honest review. So far, I, I like I like it, and then of course, like I said, then you, you go like this, and I don't know if I put it that one or not, but then you got see you got that clamping action. Put something in between there, but if you're not familiar with these, then I don't know. I don't know how to use one, but anyway, uh, definitely a handy little workbench. 
If you need the saw something, work on it. It's just a good little table. And uh, these, like I said, these just come out. Um, is that a place to store them? It'd be neat if they had a little, they should have drilled holes right here so that you can store these on the stand. Just my feedback. I would have I would have put four holes here so you could, because you're not always going to need these. And the uh, last thing you want to do is lose them. But anyway, that's, uh, that's assembly. And uh, my honest review, you know, uh, maybe I'll come back in six months after I put her through, through her paces and see what I think. Um, construction wise like I said definitely good solid frame uh, nice hardwood there uh, the only weak point I could possibly see is is the, the nylon to use the locks and the table but I'm sure they did a lot of R&D and it's probably fine I'm just uh, just talking out loud but anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, I know it's probably kind of a little bit of a long video but hey I wanted to give you the whole experience you got the, the whole thing from start to finish, we're using the pictogram and kind of open in hardware, but well, I mean, what's not how long it take me? It'll take 15, 20 minutes, so it kind of gives you an idea. It's, it is not a hard item to put together. The, the only sticking point I had was one of those did not want to thread in there, and I had to get the vise and actually get it started through, uh, which was, I could see it was flashing on the inside there, just kind of, uh, they should clean the casting out there. I guess you could have used a drill bit that size, and that would have probably helped too, but. Anyway, that as far as assembly, that's the only problem I ran into. I think it's really cool that they included this little little wrench for tightening it. So, really, you know what tools you needed for this? Box knife to cut the plastic off to get the parts out, and a hammer. That's it. it even came with the wrench. So, I mean, that ain't bad. All you needed was a hammer, and I mean, you can about make anything be a hammer. I mean, I used this little old. This is a little old 10 ounce hammer, something like that. It's a light, it's a little hammer, but uh, you know, I mean, you could have used a rock to do that. But <laughs> anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, up if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, please, and uh, look forward to my next reviews. Have a great day. This is the Electron Man.